This is Amazon cheapest trolling motor. Newport vessel, 36 pound trust trolling motor. Not only this is Amazon cheapest trolling motor, I did a search, but it is also salt water ready. We're right here, beautiful Biscayne National Park, and we're about to get on the water with this trolling motor from Newport vessel. This is a 36 pound trust trolling motor. The weight of the motor is less than 20 pounds. It's about 18 pounds. And it's gonna propel this craft at, I guess we're gonna have to see how fast it will take it. Talking about the craft, this is a Kaku Sulu, which is an excellent paddling kayak up to the four miles an hour. It's really nice. But sometimes you need a little help or you just wanna focus on fishing. Therefore, what I decided to do is to put the cheapest Amazon trolling motor I could find. I did a search for it. I asked Amazon, hey Amazon, show me your cheapest trolling motor. And guess what showed up? Newport, that. And I'm gonna give you more details about that motor now, but let me finish with this setup right here. This Kakusu, which you could buy off an affiliate link that I'm gonna put down below. Yeah, affiliate links, when you do buy it, we do get our commission. So what I decided to do is to use the wireless mount from Zulu put it in there, use a jaw gadget mount over there, you see it, boom, and drop it in here in the dry well. Because this Sulu, you could use it as a PDL drive or you could use it as a wireless trolling motor and we're gonna do a wireless trolling motor video after I finish with this one. But first, I just wanna put it in there, take it out here, do some laps, do some fishing, get a feel for it, and see how it performs. And then we're gonna come back and we're gonna smart it. We're gonna make that inexpensive trolling motor from Amazon better than motors that cost thousands of dollars. Stay tuned for that, it's gonna be a different video. I'm gonna give you a little clip on this one. Now, I wanted to talk more about this motor. It's not just that it's the cheapest one. Not only that it's salt water ready, that you can use it in fresh and salt, but also it comes with additional goodies like circuit breaker. You don't have to spend additional money and or doing the research or setting up the circuit work, the circuit, the circuit breaker. It already comes with it. It has tools. The prop is very nice by the way, but you could also go ahead and get Newport's battery box and the battery that is inside, which is a lead acid battery. And it costs like $130 and the motor costs about $140, and then the battery box is about $65. So this total setup, you're looking at $335 for that motor. Now, if we talk about the whole entire boat, the boat itself is like $1450, that mount is like $150, and add another $100 for the Yak Gadget mount. Uh, it's about $2,000 in total once you include the motor. So for that amount of money, you have an amazing fishing setup, 100%. I'm going to show you why. This motor being able to go right here on that dry well, very close to you where you're sitting, is game changer. I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about in two seconds. Now guys, I'm a YouTuber. I make content for a living. That's, what, that's my job. And um, it's so funny that I planned this trip and I came here all the way from my house to Biscayne National Park to film this video. Not to fish or anything, but to film this video. I brought camera mounts, I checked the weather, everything. Guess what I left at home? Yep, all my GoPros. All my gear is at home. But you know what? You know what I see? Instead of complaining, which I've been doing a lot, I'm not gonna complain. I'm gonna use this opportunity to try to film this entire video with just my phone. Let's see how it comes out. Let me know in the comments below. I also need to say right now that Newport, they provide the motors, the battery for free. I did not pay for them, just, just so you know. But as you know, if you've seen any of my videos, I treat every product I get my hands on the same way, whether I pay for it, whether I borrow it, whether I got it for free. Because my main thing, my number one thing is to tell you the truth as I see it. Because at the end of the day, that's what really matters. You being honest with yourself and with your viewers. Now, now that my rant is over, 
let's go ahead and focus on this. All right, so the way that you would set this up, let me see if we could go a little deeper here. This thing is already set up, it's easy to install. It has like one bolt, one on the other side, two here. And then the mount, if it doesn't have the, the patterns for the power pole, four hole pattern, you could easily just drill it and bolt it in like I did. So after that, it's just a matter of dropping this motor. And I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it on oh, one hand. I guess I did. In here, it will go through that hole. The prop is not big enough to prevent it from sliding in. And boom, it's already there. Next, just need to screw it down. What the heck, fish? Oh my God. Do you see that? That's probably a big cooter though. So I'm not gonna waste my time trying to get to the cooter right now. We have plenty of time for that. So I think that's there. What? No way. No way, dude. No way. Look at this, guys. So I set up the trolling motor on my mount setup system. The, I don't know if that plate comes with the cover. You have to check the website if you're gonna do it on the Sulu. But this clear plate is gonna prevent some of that water coming in through the deck, which is epic. And you do have a lot of clearance there to turn the motor around. Oh my God, look at this. Look at what you can do. Oh, no way. No way, you got 360? 360? Oh my God, you have a poor man 360 set up right here? Oh, that's super cool. So let me go ahead and move the battery in front of the seat right there so I have enough space to, to use it. If you're gonna do this like full-time setup, I recommend you run the wires either through the hole of the kayak or on the side and have the battery right there where it should be behind. Or the battery could also just go under the seat naked if you don't wanna use the battery box. So let's go ahead and take care of business so we could take it on the water here and maybe do a cast because that could is annoying me. This battery box, what I like about it is how easy it is to pretty much just set up your trolling motor terminals in like two seconds. Look at that, this thing is connected showing the power how much power we have you could also test the battery levels right here we got about maybe 65 percent so i think we're ready to go let's get on the kayak and go out there and have some fun the amazing thing about this kayak and i think i'm gonna have to risk it a little bit and get my phone out of the thing oh my god this is not good look i'm gonna i'm gonna release the phone all right all right guys Please remember that hopefully you don't have this battery in front of you, so you have room to fish. Um, maybe you put it under the seat or you put it behind, but let's just go ahead and go forward. Wait, that's reversed. <laughs> no way, dude, no way. Oh my God. Dude. I mean, I'm thinking that since you're so close to it, like you don't even have to turn the head of the motor around. It's tilting to the right a little bit, so I'm gonna give it a little more friction in the air. All right, so are we going forward? What speed are we in? We are speed five. No way, no way, no way, no way, no way. No way, dude, look, this is the life. <laughs> This is how I turn. Look, poor man 360 right here. Look at this. Look, 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 look how I, my background is turning. See? 360. <laughs> oh my god. Let's say I want to go forward now. Let's say I want to go this way. Oh, I think I'm hitting the problem. I need to lower the motor a little bit. Lower the motor down. When I had to, let's say we hit shallow water and we want to bring the motor up a little bit, we could do it. The reason why the prop was hitting the hole is because when you turn it sideways, that's why it was hitting the hole. But if you bring it all the way down, that's not a problem. You you clear that session. Okay, dude, man, this is nice. This is nice here, let me tell you. Man, you just said it and you could go about your business. You could do some fishing, you could do whatever the heck you want. This is some cool stuff, bro. Oh, I forgot something special about this boat. <laughs> you see that there? 
it's a rudder. So you could just put your motor going forward and then you could turn using the rudder. Oh my god! Oh my god! Ha ha ha! Dude! I forgot about the rudder 100%! <laughs> oh my goodness! This is so cool, bro. But I mean, I feel like the rudder system is nice, but at the same time, it's kind of like. What do you need a rudder for when you have. Poor man 360 right there on your hands, basically. You wanna go in reverse? You don't even set, need to set the motor in reverse. You just turn the motor all the way towards the reverse setting, and there you go, dude. <laughs> when I go right away forward, <laughs> instant reverse, dude. <laughs> well, I should say instant forward. I'm liking this setup here a lot. Dude, like I just said like two minutes ago, you don't even have to reverse the head of the motor. Like, there's no point. Not even, don't, you don't need to void the warranty for that. So, in this case, on this Sulu, it's like perfect. If you have a kayak that the drive well is further away from you, like to get access to the motor, then you, you have to like move. Maybe you want to reverse it. I mean, at this point, I, I wouldn't even have the full handle. Like, don't even need it. And see, oh, this thing, oh, this thing even. What? This tiny inexpensive motor also has a telescoping throttle? No way. Like, dude, seriously, this motor is like Nest Level Epinex. 140 bucks for this. Even if it breaks after two years, which I don't think it will, but let's say it does, $60 a, a year for a brand new motor, that's not a bad deal at all. I mean, how many years would it take you to replace one of those like very expensive motors? Like if you spend 400 bucks on a motor like, like, like this, I mean, that's like, 60 to four years right more than that it's like six years that to me is very inexpensive think about this let's say you go and spend six hundred dollars on a brand name salt water trolling motor and that motor lasts you say four years you're still losing money in that sense because even if you had to replace this which again i don't think this thing is gonna break but let's assume it's inexpensive and therefore it's gonna break it's still gonna last you at least two years, right? So if you have to buy two in four years, that will be $280. Still half the cost of a brand name trolling motor that between you and me, they're not that much better. They're not. I have NK's Riptides broken several times. I have an SI3 that it hasn't broken, but it's not like the best motor ever. So like, why would you go out of your way to spend so much money on brand name trolling motors when you could just get this? I mean, you do, dude, dude, dude. See, see the commotion there? I, I, I gotta, I gotta stop me. I cast it a few times, but I didn't get anything, dude. There was so much commotion over there. But I like, I'm trying to film this video and I'm, I don't have any camera with me and I, I wanted to fish at the same time. And I worry about the phone because I have broken 7,000 phones. So like, I don't want this phone to smell so salt water. So it's kind of like a difficult system right here. And I'm like, dude, what do you do? And I said to myself, well, you just go enjoy hands-free fishing oh my god I feel like I, I got a bite did I get a bite hey it is so nice to have this motor right here like this is the handle of the motor that I mean I'm, right now if I have my cameras with me that I don't have to worry about my phone I'll be having an amazing time well I am having an amazing time but I'm also trying to film this video so you know you know how it is guys it's never had perfect complete done this is cool man it took me a second to set this up didn't have to do any major diy or anything like that it's i mean 
once I put the battery in there, this is like a dream setup and it's not expensive at all. You should totally look into something like this. Uh, right now I'm just turning with the rudder and it's it, it's working amazingly, flawlessly. Like, so guys, you may ask yourself, why would I want a trolley motor in front of me that I could just put my hands on it and control steering like crazy? Well, think about it. If you're working a coastline like this, having the motor right there in front of you that you could just do little tiny micro adjustment and cover the whole entire thing is epic. Look, you could get very close like right now, I have a line on the water and I'm trolling and I want that line to be as close to the coastline as possible. And having the ability to just control my trolling motor with my hands right here in front of me is game changer. It's allowing me to do that. Not only that, if your boat happens to have the rudder, you could also do that with the rudder. But like I feel like the rudder, won't, you won't be able to do this right now. Like, oh my God, did I, did I just get a bite? Dude, felt like I was getting a bite. Anyways, fish, let me do my video fish, come on. So, this is what I was saying. Like, let's say you're about to crash. You're about to hit something. What do you do? You could completely turn the motor the other way and the boat will respond right away. It will move the duration of the motor quickly. If you try to do the same with the rudder, you see? There is a delay. It could do it, but there is a delay. The 360 on the motor is game changer. Look at that. We're cutting toward the mangroves right now. And I was checking the speed earlier and we were going anywhere from 2.7 to 3 miles an hour. Going this way towards the launch spot across the mangroves, we were getting anywhere from 2.7 to 3.1 miles an hour. 3.1 was the highest I saw for this craft and I think that's very accurate for this motor. 3 miles an hour for a 36 pound truss, 18 pound trolling motor for only 140 bucks is money dude, especially if you're gonna use it for fishing. We're getting very close to this mangrove system right here and I think I was going very slow. This is 5. Look at this, look at this how I masterfully get out of this situation with my poor man 360 trolling motor setup I have here. Look at this. I could literally just easily cut through here like nothing. The control is ultimate. The pricing is epic. $335 including the battery is like Dude, what are you waiting for? Like seriously.